Welcome back to Headliners. To the Observer, Lewis. And I've never done a kiss so shocking it stopped a festival, but I did upset a funeral once. Yeah. Well, why was it a dead person you kissed? <laughs> That's the... Just leaving the mental image for people to see. OK, them. sorry, sorry, sorry. I actually got the mental image. OK, this is in The Guardian. Malaysian festival halted, halted after Maddie Healy criticises anti-LGBT TQ plus laws, and this is the this he, this Matty Healy guy is uh, in the ninth is the band the 1975, which I've never heard. I've heard of it. I thought it's an interesting name to call a band the 1975. But he said he was on stage and uh, and he was protesting in Malaysia, which is a very Muslim country, about uh, LGBTQ rights. And it was just another typical example of some Westerner coming to some other country and basically trying to force their ideas <laughs> on another country. And uh, and he said he said I'm, he he actually was quoted on stage as saying I made a mistake when we were booking shows I wasn't looking into it I don't see the blank point right I do not see the point of inviting the 1975 to a country and then telling us who we can have sex with. <laughs> and, uh, and then he was he was disinvited and they closed down the festival. So what is the lesson? The, they, they closed down the festival. I mean, they closed down the entire what? festival at another day or something to go. This is interesting because my, yeah. my friend Rizzo, and by the way, I respect Matty Healy for, for doing this. So many artists just take the money and run yeah. like Beyonce went and performed for Gaddafi's son. Like the most evil, the, the, the most blood-soaked money you could possibly get. Yeah. And she doesn't even need it. You know what I mean? Matty Healy probably needs it, needs it a bit more than her. And, uh, you know, she took the money. And and just you know doesn't 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 care. But you uh, don't take he, the money. Whereas he, yeah. uh, you know, took a stand. He was like, what Malaysia? He like finally googled what Malaysia was, found out you know what 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 you can and can't do there. But what's interesting is uh, they're sort of becoming a more they're an Islamic country. Yeah. They're becoming more um, sort of intolerant of, uh, of free expression and stuff. They're becoming more like uh, Middle Eastern countries. Mm -hmm. uh, so they've got like a sort of virtue police. Yeah. So my friend Rizal, who runs Crack House Comedy in Kuala Lumpur, uh, his club was shut down and he was arrested uh, because at an open mic night somebody uh, did something that was considered offensive, you know, blasph blasphemous. Uh, she was wearing a burqa and she took the burqa off and had western clothes on underneath and that was basically the, the joke and that was seen as, you know, horrifically offensive. So yeah. it, wor it worries me that, you know, these places like Malaysia that were previously a sort of quite benign form of Islam, yeah. you know, now it's becoming a lot less Well, things benign. change, but the point is you don't go to somebody else's country and then while you're there, you don't take their money and then, and then make a great poo poo. Literally what you're doing right now. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's true. That's, you know what I was thinking that it is, is I'm on this, I'm on this channel. What am I gonna sit here and complain about what's going on? I know what's going on. Everybody else knows what's going on. It's a bit too late for me. I'm not gonna sit here. You know, after they fire me, I'll say, oh I can't believe I was there. <laughs> <laughs> right, on to the mail on Sunday.